Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel from Gentle Frog. In this video, I want to show you how to create a customer statement in QuickBooks Desktop. For this example, I'm using QuickBooks Premier 2022. Let me start by giving you the backstory. I'm going to go to Customers and Customer Center and show you Sally the Customer. Sally the Customer is here. Sally the Customer has some invoices and some payments. And then most recently, Sally the Customer had a deposit or prepaid, um, this one, prepaid $750. In Make Believe Land, she paid it on 1125, and then in Make Believe Land, the invoice was generated on 1130. The invoice generated on 1130 is for $1250, but she's already paid 750, so she only owes 500. If you look at the invoice, you're going to see the balance due as 500. It's possible that when she looks at the invoice, she'll feel fantastic. It's also possible that she's going to ask you for some sort of accounting or some sort of list of her invoices and payments. I want to show you how to create that list. So let me go ahead and close this. All you need to do is go to the top of your screen, go to customers, come down to create statements, give your statement whatever statement day you'd like. In this case, we'll go through the end of the month. In my statement period, I'll just have it start at the beginning of the year have an end at the end of the month. I've got my customer selected. I'm going to choose preview on the bottom. So now if I zoom in, you can see the balance forward was zero dollars. Every time that it, a event happens where she owes us money or she makes a payment, it's going to show up in the amount column. All of her running balance will show up in the balance column. And so this is where you see the deposit of 750, the invoice of 1250, and the remaining balance due of 500. It's not overly interesting, but it is important to know how to do this. One thing you'll notice, or I certainly do, is how incredibly boring the statement looks. If you have this happen and you're like, oh, I'm not gonna send a boring looking statement, I'll just quickly show you where to go to make this look a little bit better. Let me go ahead and close this. Let me close this. The secret place for that is to go to list, to go to templates, you can either um, go to statement, this statement right here, or what I would do is I would go to the bottom, I would go to new, I would pick statement here, and then I would start making changes. Because I have a new one, I won't mess up the default template, but you can turn stuff off and on, you can add a logo, like you can do some stuff to make it a little bit prettier. I hope this video has been helpful. If there's any topics you'd like to see a video on, or if you'd like to chat about this one, please don't hesitate to leave a note in the comments. If you'd like to see step-by-step -step instructions, we'll put a link to those in the description for this video. Thank you so much and have a great day.